Hey, what's going on, guys? How is everybody doing? I um, want to show you today how you can make, if you have scripts and whatnot like that, um, you'll notice that it's pretty annoying every time that if you have a script and you use it a lot, um, it can be pretty annoying for you to have to go find the directory all the time and then go inside of it and then you have to run this run this uh, executable and this is my example here okay so I want to show you how to make them global that's probably not the right word but that's the word I'm going to use I'm not talking about a global variable that you would put say in your uh, bash rc file or your anything like that okay I'm talking about how to make this um, run from any location that it that you can okay so for example this is a little program if anybody's been watching for a while they notice that I don't like to have a lot of uh, stuff in my cache right so um, I made a program to drop my caches okay now I would have to come to this directory here wherever you have your executable uh, file stored at and then you would have to run that um, that script okay so it's not going to work for me right now because I didn't go sudo on it because I need sudo permissions to um, echo in the proxys VM alright but that's what I would have to do normally alright to make it global you have to put that uh, file into say the user bin file folder okay and if I go into user bin and let's list it out and say um, you'll see stuff in here that we're all kinda kinda common to if I ever get a my god my pointer as or something like that um, but this is where your, your files will go that you can access globally okay you'll notice some stuff in here that um, that are global variables for the uh, user for the user okay like a user can use GDB okay this is probably the wrong directory to list out and try to go through grep's in here somewhere grep no, grep's not in here grep will be up somewhere else but this is the directory that you want to come to to put your file in there of oh, perfect one here okay YouTube DL or Xenity alright um, this is where you want to come to and you want to drop your full your file in here okay but I don't like to drop my file in here I like to create a little layer of abstraction because what happens if I was to come in here and just you know sometime I am like a bull in a china shop and I just remove everything well, I just removed my user sbin directory or user bin directory okay and that can be a heck of a problem especially if I was sudo okay so I like to go and I make a little folder within this uh, folder here and I called my port me okay and in this folder I usually like to uh, put my script in here right I actually copy my script from another location I showed you I copy that and I put it um, over here okay and this is in the in the new file I the new folder I created in the user bin uh, directory okay and from here um, you can link you can link the executable to let's say link file to target okay now this works on, on a lot of Linux machines sometimes it's target to file I think okay anyway I've had a lot of problems with linking files and sometimes I would link them backwards and it's because of some of the other machines that I used that I think they were going backwards or maybe it was just me or maybe it was just you know maybe I didn't have enough order in my brain or something but that was the issue so with um, a lot of distros you, you want to check out the man on how to link right okay check out the manual on how to link and maybe even throw in a couple um, throw in a couple just try it out a few times
right? Go somewhere where you won't be, you know, destroying anything, okay? And figure out how you're going to go ahead and link a file to another file, okay? And I'll say to target, okay? But with this distro, Mint 13, Slackware, I know, it's, um, you link it from the file to uh, target, okay? But when you link, you want to use a full path directory, okay? So, for instance, if if I wanted to link this file I have here, which is called uh, pork r, okay? See, so if I wanted to link pork r, which is a stupid script I made to get rid of spaces in directory names, or in, yeah, in directory names, not files yet, but I don't need to get rid of spaces in files, that's crazy. <laughs> so, you want to say something like link, and I would say link user bin port me. Um, I would link pork r, okay, to the user bin directory, okay? And the syntax and link here is links uh, soft link, right? Not a hard link, a soft link. There's differences with it, and it's better explained by somebody else, but I know I always do softs, okay? Soft link might be force or file, I'm not sure, and verbose, okay? A lot of people just throw off the F and the V, right? And it is link S, but I like to see the output. So you want to link your, your uh, source file okay or the file you want to link the file to the target but you want to link it through a full path if you don't link it through a full path do errors okay so that's cool and if you need root permissions to do a situation like say if you wanted to um, make a program to restart restart your uh, Apache server or something okay well you you might need root permissions for that Okay, and they would go into the user, or they would go into the SBIN directory, okay, and they could go, I'm not sure, if you need, um, I think the user SBIN directory has um, some pseudo permissions, into, I'm not sure, right, but I do know, I, I put mine into the SBIN directory, okay, and you might want to research that, but check that out. And again, I changed uh, the SBIN directory. I moved the, I put a directory inside of it, so I would have a layer of abstraction, so I don't remove everything in my SBIN directory someday. Okay. And for my example, um, free up, I used free up. Okay. And all that is, is if I go back up, I can list LESH. I'm gonna say grep free up and say more. You can see here that fee up is now linked to the SBIN um, directory. Okay? So that's all I did. And that's how you can access it uh, globally. Okay? And the other advantage is too about making a um, a link inside of these directories or something like that. Alright? If I ever wanted to apply a um, a fix or anything, or if I ever wanted to upgrade this this um, this program I made here, the only thing I would have to do is I would I would come in like Vi or my text editor or whatever like that, and I can upgrade it from here, okay? And since this is linked to um, the so it's global, it's linked. So whatever files I make or whatever changes I make, it'll already be made within the link. Okay. Okay. And the other uh, good advantage about that is too is um, it, you can you can cat your changes. You can cat your changes, or you can say said your changes, or something like that. You can you can do that into um, your file, and it's like upgrading. All right. So that's all I got. I'm done talking. See you guys. Oh my god, how do I get out of here? Okay, see you guys later.